<laughs> Welcome back to Claudette's Craft Corner. <laughs> um, all right, so this is part two of our shopping trip to Webb's, America's Yarn Store. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. So the first video was what Joe picked out for me to work with. And I think I've decided I'm going oh, and to... One, and one of the things that you bought is one thing that I also picked out for you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, you'll have to tell me which one. You know oh, which, which one. This one. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we're going to start with what he came to me in the store and said, Oh, could you please do this one? You have to make it perfect. Yeah. And this would, it would be this. Now, this. Wait, oh. Yep. Um, I love my son's confidence in me, but. Uh, I guess it's it's possible. You learn from the best. Um, Amagurum Gurumi kit. I probably did not say that very well. It says video tips. Definitely gonna need that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, download Love Circulo app. Open AR. And I can't read what's under there. This kit includes everything you need to make this um, Amigurumi Circulo. Cats and dogs collection, so um, let's see. I'm just curious if this will open. Oh, okay, so it opens right up. Just to show you what's in the kit. Okay, and... It even gives you your stuffing, too. It looks like marshmallows. Oh, wow. It looks like a big fat marshmallow. Okay. Or it's just oh, a head. Oh gosh. Yep. So here's the pattern. There's also to follow. Oh my also... god. And okay, so you can do the cat, a beagle, a Siamese cat, a poodle, or a French bulldog. And many other things. <laughs> All right. And let's see. We've got. The yarn. Oh, this is very, very fine. It's got, it even gives you the knitting needle. I'm sure that's a very small one. And oh, and it's got the little, the little eyes to put in there. And looks like some thread, probably for the whiskers and things like that. That'll be interesting. It'll be a very interesting video if I can do that. I'm. Let's see. It looks like six inches. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Got my work cut out for me on that one. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we'll put that off to the side. All right. And. All right. I tried to get at least two. Of everything I found interesting, um, so we can out. focus on that. And this one is Whisper Lace Fiber Natura, one point seven five ounces or fifty grams, four hundred and forty yards, super fine. Oh, it won't focus. I just leave it like that. Okay. Like that. All right. 70% superwash wool, 30% silk. Let's see. This one, usually these finer yarns, um, I will find something, a project that I can weave with them. I don't often use them for knitting. I use this type for, um, for weaving. So that's probably what I'm going to do with that. I always love these like variegated in color. Or if it sort of makes up its own pattern when you're weaving with it. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do there. Right, and this one is, um, I think it's Stacy Charles. 74% um, silk, 26 percent lorex and i wish george would you stop uh 76 
yards, 0.88 ounces, 20 stitches, and 26 rows equals 4 inches. Uh, needle number 8, or H hook 8. And it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like they have, but it's just nice, um, has the, uh, what do you call that, glitter, tinsel in, in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one, I actually thought the name on this one was kind of fun, the Whirly Gig, <laughs> Cascade Yarns. Um, I only got one of these because it's a pretty good size. And um, I usually try to do smaller projects anyway, so I'm thinking this is going to be good. 60% uh, superwash merino wool, 20% nylon, and 20% acrylic. Um, 546 yards. Let's see. 22 to 24 stitches equals 4 inches. Uh, machine wash, tumble dry. I do, <laughs> I do like to find the... Um, machine washable ones it's just easier care later on <laughs> and this is another one that I got just one this one is Cascades Yarns Cartwheel 100% acrylic it and like actually it, it looks Christmassy I have a tendency to pick out Christmassy colors a lot of the time I tend to go with Christmassy colors, Christmas. and I also pick up a lot of uh, greens, oranges, and blues. Um, that's usually the my look, color. My look, green, orange, blue. I it know. seems to be you, you and A's favorite color, my old favorite color. I know. <laughs> it's always been that way. Um, all right, 200 grams, 328 yards, US 10. 14 stitches equals 4 inches. Down here. I look down here right now. <laughs> so silly. Oh. And let's see. All right. And oh, these were more of uh, Stacy Charles. So that's the same as the orange. Yeah, and there's 76.5 yards on here. Um, yarn like this I tend to use as accents in weaving. Um, because of the glitter, if I want a project to have a little bit of, well, I guess you would say bling, um, I will put um, like a thread of these in and out of uh, weaving projects. So most of it will be of another solid color, but you'll see like a string of of this type of stuff going through it just to give it a little extra. And look at the camera. I I have your head in though, like the holes of it. Yeah. That's fun. All right, and these I got four. That's a lot. Um, these are. Let's see. What does it say? It says. Oh, God. Something that looks like in a different language. Falati Biagio. Falati Biagio. Biagio. I don't know. <laughs> well, you got it in there. It's <laughs> Modest, um, Modesto. Let's That's see. the easiest one. 100%. CO. And it's by FBM. Yeah, so some of these I'm not sure what some of the stuff stands for. Oh, there's also a white thing on it. Um, I thought it was a little different because it's um, it's flat. And here's a uh, here's an ingredients here's list. Over. The ingredients Thank list. You. Yeah, it's sort of a flat. It's not round. So if nothing else, I thought it might be interesting to try and weave something with them. I, the ingredients so we'll list. See. Ingredients. I know, I know that Joe, but I still don't understand it. Oh, I forgot they're a different language. Okay. Oops. 
All right. So these next things are babies. <laughs> these were, they're small for sure, but um, these were only a dollar each. And so I got a bunch of these because I thought the contrast of the red and green was pretty nice. Um, again, I gravitate towards Christmassy colors. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, let's six, see. Seven, so eight, nine, it says here, uh, Signet Yarns. The green is a a apple shade, and the red is red. <laughs> That's funny. No kidding. Uh, 25 grams, and do do do. 100% acrylic. Uh, let's see. It must say how many yards is on here. I put the red there to complete the tower. Uh, I don't see how many yards. Acrylic knits. Hmm. There's no yardage. Well, I do realize there are small, Boing. small skeins. It's Christmas. Um, <laughs> It's a Christmas pyramid. But uh, I thought they were cute, and I like the um, the contrast of them. So that's the end of bag one. And they uh, also make good cat hats. See, my they make good they make good cat hats. Oh, Joel. if you have a cat that's willing to not move their head. Gosh. No, no, oh. no. Now he's gonna try and play with them. Gosh. And that's what Tiggy would do. Mm, yeah, George too. Okay, oh, George gone. gave up. <laughs> She's got a baby now. All right. So these, this one is Ann Circulo. And let's see. It's got a lot of orange and yellow. 370, 371 it's yards. 100% cotton mer-sized. Mer Mercerized. I'll have to look that up later. Um, again, it, and this is another one that I thought would be fun to weave something no, with. The, the, the funny thing is that's not warm. Because mm. it has all the warm colors. Mm. Yeah. So, let's see. Gage. Um, that 371 yards. Yeah. And 339 meters. 3.50 ounces, 100 grams. And there's this thing too. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, there I did that. <laughs> All right, so. That looks like a YouTube uh, background. Huh. This one is Chapelle Zodder Ball. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah. Uh, a hundred grams. Okay. Seventy five percent virgin wool. And where do you see that? Twenty five percent nylon. It's like halfway down. Because the first thing is not English is why the English is part way down the tag. Because these are done in a different country. But I really thought it was kind of fun the way it uh, variegates into different colors. And this was uh, from the bulky Haydenville oh, it's Valley fluffy. Yarns. It's fluffy. Hey, come on, you two. No fighting. You two can't sit up here if you're not going to behave. Yes. Uh, sixty percent superwash merino wool, forty percent acrylic microfiber. It's, made, it's made by Valley Yarns. One hundred grams, one hundred and nine yards. Three and a half stitches on one inch, uh, U.S. ten. And I think I got four of these. But the, something like this, uh, I probably and, will knit with. And the, the color name is turquoise. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, yeah. So. It's made in Italy. Mm 
bright blue. Um, bright blue. Ella Ray Cozy Soft Machine Washable Wool Blend. Suggested knitting gauge, 20 to 22 stitches. Stock and knit stitch, US 5. And if you want to look at all these, you should probably pause now. Because there are lots of them. Alright, so... And it was made in China. Alright, this last color, uh, is the a, same brand. It's your wall. Um, and the same type and everything, only this oh, is wow. Seafoam Green. Isn't that like the car? Yeah, I think that is what the car is considered. Definitely, uh, is it made in this China is a lot too? brighter than the car color. <laughs> I think it's about the same. Right. Oh, that's where you okay. see the name. <laughs> but by Ella Ray. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right, so these last two things. Oh, jeez. Oh. Um, Bryce Spun. Uh, these little, little snizzer, snizzers, <laughs> scissors, uh, for not, snipping. They're not sni of course scissors oh, are for snipping. Oh, and there's an extra okay, thing there. Gotta get them a close up. It also looks like a dragon or horse. Looks, or seahorse. Huh. Yeah, be careful with your fingers because I think that's a something that'll cut. Of course he'll cut. It's okay. scissors. She's adorable. So I picked these up. We'll I actually a, have... We'll give them a fur cut. I actually it's have a couple up. other <laughs> small pairs. Um, they go with other projects of mine, and then I'm always looking for another pair. So I thought a spare set around okay. would... Uh-oh. It's Sizzamisk. See? Sizzamisk. Mm -hmm. All right. And this last item that wasn't oh. even my choice, well, because my husband and my son are so kitty crazy. Thank you, Taylor, <laughs> for making my point. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Oh, boy. Deal. So this is Wait, a... It kind of looks like a baby George. <laughs> what? Can I show them a kitty kitty knit kit. That's probably why Daddy said to get it, because George is sort of his uh, his kitty. There's the things in it. I know it does. I'm opening it. Can you move your tail? There this is go. 21 minutes. Yeah, I know. No more videos though. It's almost dead. All right, kitty stitch markers. Oh, they're like in the shape of little kitty heads. Oh, actually, this is a. Uh, tapestry needle and I kind of wish I had, had this the other oh. day it says it's not not intended for children under 12 too bad I'm uh oh oh hey, hey give that Can back you're only 10 Hello. you're only 10 incapable <laughs> they look like rings yeah there's just there's stitch markers oh is that a magnet mm -hmm. kind of. all right Wait. This knitting tool knitting toolkit includes six cat shaped stitch markers, one magnetic insert, and one yarn needle. Hmm. So yeah, there is a Oh the needle right here. And you could just know, with a needle because can't. I've used one before. Oh wait. Uh Huh, you must I don't have anything metal around here. Isn't the needle metal? Yeah. Oh, where'd it go? Yeah, but... Okay. Oh. Okay, so... 
I guess you could put needles in here and then they uh, they don't move. No. So it actually... Ah! Wait, I have an idea. Okay, so the magnet doesn't come out. It stays in there and holds your needles. Wait, or wait, put the needle down. Put the needle down. That didn't work. Oh, those are cute. Nice little kitty stitcher markers. Yeah, different sizes too. Different colors. Yeah. Oh. So. So there's the tiny gold. Another tiny gold. You got some big golds and some big silvers. And this is the design of that. Yes. And for comparison, there's a little kitty marker. Next to a big kitty marker. Mm. All right, now put that down. All right, so that concludes uh, our, our web the shopping, shopping haul to Webb's America's Yarn Store. We gave different exposures. So. I said web shopping trip. Hi, baby. I know, there's more than one web, so. I know. All right, so. And let's see, so just before this video, you I believe I put the shopping one up, but I had to do this video before that, so I didn't see what he got me, because yeah. that was the whole thing, that I wasn't supposed to see um, what he had picked up for colors, so that was a big surprise. surprise. Um, surprise. So, this concludes part two, um, and hopefully I'll be doing some more. I so, um please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll get more of this. Um, do bear with me on some of these shopping videos. I realize the video quality probably ain't that great. Um, we are just starting for your, out. For your phone. Yeah, for my phone. I haven't seen your footage yet, I, well, so we'll, we'll see. I figured it. I'll end the videos with these two yeah. guys. So, um, like and subscribe. Hopefully I'll be doing some more fun stuff in the near future. Uh, fun projects. And um, I know I've mentioned it a couple... A couple of times that, um, I will be working on the Farmall quilt. Um, I am home all day tomorrow. <laughs> Where did so you that one? I believe I am going to um, work on that a good part of tomorrow. Um, so whatever I get to tomorrow, I'll do another video for that. So that should be coming in the next day or two. Um, as soon as I get all that edited. And this is our big pile of yarn. So, Wait, let's take my hand and see what I grab. All right. Oh, so thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.